Welcome to Catch Up TV October edition. Fortunately or unfortunately for some of you, you've got me this month because Brian's out fishing in France at the moment. He's over in Abbey Lakes fishing with Ian Russell. Um, last I heard they hadn't actually caught anything, but knowing those two guys, very, very good anglers, I'm sure we'll have something to report for you for next month. Anyway, we've been doing a lot of fishing this month. We've got all sorts going on. We've got prizes. We've got giveaway from last month, we've got fish of the month, and we've got loads of new products and Christmas gift ideas. Talking of which, I've been out fishing myself this month. I've actually been filming down on the linear complex for the new DVD that comes out around Christmas time. Um, with myself, Mark Bartlett and Tom Maker, we fished the complex for over 10 years each between us and we've transformed a wealth of knowledge into that DVD. So if you're looking for a trip to Linear, want to get some tips, look out for the new free Linear DVD that comes out around Christmas time. I've also been out doing a bit of perch fishing and drop shotting and lure fishing, which leads me on to my next thing, Drennan or Esox as they're called, they bought out some new lures, which are absolutely fantastic. Whether you're drop shotting or lure fishing, they've got something for everyone. Now, they come in two sizes, some little micro ones, which I've been using recently. I popped down to a local lake for a couple of hours and managed to catch loads and loads of perch. I didn't actually manage to bump into anything massive, but it was just great just to kill a couple of hours, just to get out with a perch rod and catch loads and loads of fish, albeit pretty small ones, but it's still good fun. All I was doing with the little drop shot lures was using a little micro jig head, just threading it through, and just casting and retrieving really slowly, bouncing it off the bottom. And as I said, I was getting bites, most chucks, and I had quite a lot of perch. That leads on to the prize for next month, or for this month. To win the new prize, all you have to do is like and share this video. And the prize we're giving away is the ESOX Drop Shot Lures. Now we've got four prize packages of uh, three or four lures packs per person. So there's four chances to win, so it's gonna be a good one, so make sure you like and share this video. One of our members of staff, Dan Vallis, has been targeting Hardwick this year, and he's been having some great success. I have to add, he's trying to catch his first 30 pounder, and in my opinion, he's been a little bit unlucky because he's still not managed to break the 30 pound barrier. He's had an absolute shed load of fish throughout the year, really good angling and uh, this month has been quite tricky on the linear complex but Dan's had a couple of sessions down there and he's had a trio of stunning 22 pound mirrors one session and then last week I popped down to see him and he had a lovely 26 pound 9 ounce mirror which was one of the originals one of those real nice scaly things so big well done to Dan and fingers crossed for that 30 very soon um, Dan was using a mixture of our Hinders Particles and Sticky Baits Krill Boilies, which is a bait that is working very well on the complex at the moment. One of the new products that has been really well received by the trade this month is the new DPF line from Witchwood. It really is something a little bit different. As you can see, it's purple in colour, which the experts will tell you in a whole range of light conditions, it just disappears and makes it transparent so that fish can't see it. So it's perfect for those guys that like to conceal their line. The line itself is actually fluorocarbon coated, which gives it quite a decent heavy weight. So it sinks really nicely. Brian, Brian's been out testing it over the course of the month and he absolutely loves it. He's got a really thin diameter for breaking strain, which means it's also nice and supple. So it casts really, really well. Um, available in three breaking strains, £12, £15 and £18 and uh, one of the other factors is it looks really tarty on black reels. Also alternatively, if you've got no other use for it, then why not hang your decorations on it at Christmas. Another new product this month which has been selling like hotcakes is the Corda Chod Safe. Now this is the perfect storage solution for all your chod rigs. Makes a great stocking filler and we've got plenty more Christmas ideas coming up later. Hi there, you join me and Steve down at Drayton Reservoir today. This is our third session in the last month and a half 
and in that time we've had over 120 carp using really simple tactics. The spod mix we've been using is nut sludge with a supreme cream liquid but what we're doing slightly different with the supreme cream liquid is we're diluting it in water first so as soon as it gets into the spod mix it's leaking attraction and in the water it's just creating a big cloud. The end tackle we're using we've got a three ounce lead onto a lead clip system and then down to an anti-tangle sleeve we're using 12 foot zigs today and the hook length material we're using is the Fox Zig and Float hook length. That's down to a size 7 SSBP with a bit of foam on the end soaked in that awesome beetling and black. Top tip I'll give you is every cast just dip your, bit, your foam into the beetling and black, chuck it out there and that's what's had us bites today. When you come down to Drayton make sure you're prepared, make sure your, your rods are all clipped up so every time you've had a fish, get it back out there, get three spots over the top. If you have a bit of low in the action, put some more spot out, recast the rods every 20 minutes or so, and it will it'll just produce fish. If you're looking for a, a winter venue and you've, you're new to zigging, get yourself down to Drayton. It's an awesome place to come. Use the tactics we've shown you today and you'll catch and cut. Our fish of the month winner this month is Tom Perry, so a big well done to Tom. He recently watched our zig video that me and Brian filmed on Shearwater earlier in the year and he used those exact same tactics to great effect. Over the course of a couple of sessions, Tom managed to bag no less than 30 carp from the venue, including fish to over £20. So a massive well done to Tom and to everyone else that entered. And if you get in contact with us, Tom, we'll get a bait voucher over to you very, very soon. Top all-round angler Andy Lobel has been using our bait to great effect recently on the Trent. Let's have a quick look at exactly what he's been catching. Good morning. I'm down here on the River Trent at Collingham, hoping to snare some barbel. Now, I've been given a range of Hinders baits to test and see what they can do. Now, I've got with me, I've got Hinders Ellipse Pellets, which have been an absolute winner for me over the years. Um, they've got these now in different sizes, but they've also brought out some ellipse dumbbells, which just help you with sort of hair rigging and those sorts of applications. And they are absolutely wonderful. They've still got the same leaking power of the pellet, but in that boily form. They then got barbel bombs, which is a, a sort of a recent addition to the range of barbel baits and it's one that I absolutely love, especially with their paste and their glug, it's an absolute winner. But once again, you've got the, the dumbbell boilies and they are absolutely fantastic on the hair. We then, as well as that, have the bit of a classic from Hinders, is the blitz range for barbel. Um, these are the hard hookers which have been boosted, so they've got that extra attraction on them as well. So there's a whole range of baits from the ellipse the, uh, the barbel bombs and the blitz range with pellets, ground baits, boilies to go with um, and I can't fault them. I came down last night and within 10 minutes I had an 11.6 barbel on the bank with one of the ellipse dumbbells and then I've had two more fish since then um, on the barbel bombs uh, boilies. So I can't fault it, you know, instant action uh, and let's hope for a few more. Well, it's that time of year again, Christmas is fast approaching. And for those that aren't sure exactly what they want for Christmas, I've got a couple of great Christmas ideas for you. First of all, where better to start than Ridge Monkey? Now, they have produced some fantastic products this year that have been really well received. First of all, if you haven't got yourself a toaster, then that has been one of the biggest selling items of the year. So if your husband, boyfriend or yourself, you haven't got one, then that might be one to look at. For those that already have one, Ridge Monkey are bringing out a new case to store your Ridge Monkey toasted sandwich maker in. So that's coming out towards the middle to the end of November, so that's one to look out for. Also, we've had lots of feedback and people have always been asking for a bigger Ridge Monkey. And your prayers have been answered because very soon is coming the XL version. So that's gonna be a new one out towards the end of November. So that could make a great Christmas gift idea as well. Also from our friends at Ridge Monkey, they've bought out a really, really good battery pack charger. 
So for those that like to go out for a couple of days at the time and your iPhone keeps running out of batteries, then this charger charges about 22 charges of an iPhone. So it's really worth a look. If you want a nice cheap Christmas stocking filler idea, then look no further than a woolly hat. Every carp angler has to own a woolly hat and we've got a whole selection of them here from the likes of Sticky Baits, Tracker, Corder and Fox, you name it, we've got one to suit you. Pretty much every angler I've ever met on the bank loves a hot drink. So why not treat them to a new stove, kettle or even a heat changing mug from Tracker. And for those that like to fish a longer session, why not treat them to a new cookware set? If you really want to treat that special angler in your life, then why not look at getting a new reel? We've just received the new Shimano Speedcast, which is a hell of a package for under 115 quid per reel. Features a slow oscillation, a really, really quick retrieve, making it perfect for spotting or a long distance fishing reel. And finally, if you're really stuck for Christmas gift stocking filler ideas, why not treat someone to a good old bottle of Beetlein or alternatively a Beetlein in black? This stuff really is the nuts. Every carp angler's dream Christmas present. We had a great like and share competition last month and that was to win two Nash SR5 alarms and a receiver worth £150. Now we've chosen a winner at random and that winner is Paul Mulford. So well done Paul, give us a shout and we'll get your prize to you. One of our regular bait users, Josh Bennett, has just got back from France. He reported back to me, he had a bit of a struggle throughout the session, but he managed to get a few in the end, including a couple of really nice carp. What's also interesting from his session, he had a bit of a nightmare with the catfish. He had the same catfish three times in 12 hours. Now, most people wouldn't complain seeing as the fish was over 90 pounds, so that is an absolute monster. So well done, Josh, and uh, hope you catch a few more next time. Well, that's about all we got time for this month. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next month.